What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidugo Vibes here and I'm coming at you with a sneaker review. This time being a pair of Y3s. You guys have probably seen this sneaker already but I'm going to review it anyway if you've seen like my past videos. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because we upload at least uno video por semana. But, um, I haven't seen this shoe as of yet pop up on YouTube as often. Like, I've seen a few people do it, but I'm thought I'm just going to do my take on this particular shoe. So, it is a pair of Pure Boost ZG knits right there. And the colorway is, I call it the Oreo colorway, but it's the black and white color or white and black. Um, this particular pair retails for $229, which equals to $400 Australian flat. So, I picked this up for $440 shipped off eBay. So, $440 Australian, if you guys that don't know. Uh, so I paid 440 shipped, which equals about 420 for the actual shoe, which for this particular model is absolutely fucking crazy of a steal, trust me. But um, that's what the front box looks like, and we just have like the black out of that stripes running along the side of the box. Um, and the front of the box, we do have Y3 by Yoshi Yamamoto with the Adidas branding on top. Um, it's very infamous to so, like the um, my Castle High is the exact same like branding of the box. Um, so I'll just take the lid off right there. We do have a pair of black. We have a spare pair, spare white laces for spare vibes. I have, it came with the tags already attached, so I just took them off. So that's what the tag looks like right there. If you focus on me, there we go. Boom. Um, apart from that, we do have like the card that states like it is delicate materials. Don't use it for sport uses, like it's a lifestyle shoe. If you have a pair of white threes, you'll know exactly what the card actually says, but. Um, two pair, or a pair of dust bags for each shoe, um, which actually I might use because I'm going to Japan in like four days as I'm recording this. So I actually might use them for my trip. But here they are right here and they are the cleanest fucking pair of shoes that I own thus far. I say that for every shoe, but um, here we have Pure Boost CG Prime Nids in the Oreo colorway. So, so clean. Um, I've got shoe trees in them right now, but um, I'll get into details of the shoe. I'll show off the left shoe. Because I always show off the left shoe. I haven't done one of these in such a long time. Bear with me. I had to change the camera angle a little bit. But um, with the outside of the shoe, we have very um, Adidas and Y3 vibes right here because of the Adidas three stripes. But we do have the Yoji Yamamoto branding running along down the middle. Um, apparently, this particular pair, or like the ZG Primus in general, this rubs off really quickly if you're not careful, so just be wary of that. Getting towards the toe box, we do have a black and white prime, mixed prime knee running along down the toe box. And it's just black prime knit here and along down there as well. Um, on the inside of the shoe is exactly the same as the other side with the Adidas, but no um, Yoji branding. The back of the heel does have, it's very like ZX Flux type vibes because it has the same heel cup. But it's just a plastic black heel cup that run, runs along down the back with the Oreo prime knit running along down the back of the heel. Um, the lacing system and the tongue is infamous for this particular pair. Um, if I loosen it up a bit, you will get a different understanding of what I mean. I did loosen this up a little bit just so you can get a feel of what the actual um, tongue looks like. But from the side view right here, it looks actually really dope. But like the tongue um, looks like a vagina. I'm not going to front about it. Like it looks funny, but when you have it on, it looks dope. I don't know why I'm getting that type of vibes right now, but that's what it looks like. So um, we do have the white three brand on the outside of the um, tongue. And it is like white perforated leather and it's like white, almost tumbled leather. Oh God, it smells so fucking nice. Hint, we have, do have the hints of Oreo prime meat running along down the like side with the eyelids that actually aren't that like, I mean, they should have put like, um, like a metal, like, um, like a metal hoop or something there, like a hole, just so, cause it doesn't look as clean as, cause it looks like it'll break really, really easily. Um, if I get like a closer look, you, get, you guys will be able to tell that it's just like, it looks like it's just being drilled through the prime knit and that's it. Um, that's just the vibe that I got from it and it's not, I mean, I'm not going to throw it out, but this is like a $400 shoe, so just like be wary of that shit. The midsole is surrounded by Boost technology and this is a Pure Boost model, module, so it's not as comfortable as the Ultra Boost. I'm not going to lie about it, I'll be completely honest. The only difference between uh, the Boost between the two is that the Ultra Boost has more like Boost cushioning, whereas the Pure Boost doesn't. <coughs> Oh, fuck. <coughs> oh, fuck. I'm like gonna die in a minute. Holy fuck. The outsole is a Pure Boost outsole. So it's like an all white with the Boost te technology within this outsole. Um, it looks like marshmallows. Like, I'm not gonna front about it. It literally looks like a marshmallow. And I have worn this pair, so it does look toasty as fuck. But um, this is really, really comfortable. And I just 
have to tell you guys right now, when you get a dead stock pair, if you do end up picking up a pair, I'll tell you about prices in a minute, be wary that you do have to loosen the fucking laces because I wore this pair straight away when I got them, like the day after. I wore them and like the laces up the top killed my foot. Like only my right shoe killed me because I didn't lace them up. So it's just like common sense, man. But um, I will take out the shoe tree and I'll show you the inside of it. The inside doesn't come with the sole, so it just has the boost technology. Very, very similar to the NMD model. Um, the NMD has no insole as well. And honestly, I would prefer to add an insole. Like, I personally don't like the not insole type vibes. Like, it does have like boost branding and stuff, and like you really get a feel of the boost. But I prefer to have like a bit of like uh, material between the boost and my foot. I don't know, that's just me personally, but. Um, this pair is still regardless as like one of the dopest pairs I have in my collection Just because like you can wear it with basically anything you can wear it with pants shorts stonewash denim black denim Basically any pair of denim you want pairing with the eye-catchingness of this shoe because I did wear this Wednesday for the first time um, For an underground society meeting gang gang I was particularly paired and got so many fucking looks from it And I had a lot of compliments from them saying like dude, it's a very dope ass shoe like how much did you pay? Pay this that, they're like what the fuck? It's just eye catching. Just because I think of the fact that it's a white and black prime knit, so it's like an Oreo, it just looks clean. Um, but you can wear it with like crop trousers because I did wear it in this um, particular fit. If you guys are from an Instagram, go ahead right there. It's a very clean ass fucking shoe, man. So um, you can wear it with basically anything. With regards to pricing on these, you won't believe it, they've skyrocketed a lot. Um, due to the fact that Jerry has rocked this pet so many times, it's gone the hype that it deserves personally. These were going dead stock 900. I honestly, I'm gonna be upfront, I would not pay that. I would only pay 670, 700 max. Um, prices are fluctuating between five and 700. You just have to be um, mindful of who the seller is, seller is, condition, sizing, everything like that. Um, have, is it being worn? Is it end up looking like that? Is it a dead stock pair? Um, just be wary and like, if you guys have any information about like any pricing, just DM me on Instagram. Um, like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, just give me a shout, man, and I'll seriously help you out. Um, for like even legit checks, because there's a lot of fakes out there for this, like for this particular pair. Um, when I bought when I bought them, I was gonna be scared they'll come as fake, but the guy that I bought them off was like completely legit. Like came in the end box and tags, like still had the stick on the box, like you saw before. So, um, and just last last thing before we guys go, sizing. Definitely recommend going at least half a size down. Um, I'm a ten and a half in ultra boost sizing right there. I'm a 10 and a half in Ultra Boost and I've got these in a nine and a half and these are a snug fit. Like it is like the perfect fit. I don't have room because it's a prime knit. It does stretch a tiny bit. So um, if you want to go have like a little bit of room, go down half a size. If you want like just that perfect runner snug fit, go down a whole size. Before we get into this on feet portion of this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go to all my social medias and like them. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that good shit. Um, for you guys, if you want like questions about sizing or anything like that that I haven't mentioned, just DM me or hit me up, man. I'll reply straight away and help you guys out as much as I can. And if you are new, just jump on board with this channel because I am doing Japan vibes. Um, in the next, not in the next four days, I will be like pre-recording a lot of videos just before I go because I am going in the next four days. So it's a 10 day trip and I am going to be daily vlogging every single day. So um, it's just with regards to like tourist attractions, sneakers, fashion, um, food, like just everything, man. It's gonna be fucking one dope of a trip. So if you are new, jump on board and we'll go with this journey with me. I'm talking too much shit. I'll see you guys in the next video on Video Vibes. I'm out, guys.